Hey guys, what's up? It's Caroline, and for today's video, you can see I have a new background behind me, next to me, around me. This will be where I film my intros, outros, sit down, talk to you videos like this one, all the different kinds of stuff. So, hope you guys like my new location. Hope it meets your standards because I worked hard on it. So, let me know in the comments what you think of. My new location. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a what's in my dance bag. I love watching these videos because they give me inspiration on what to put in my dance bag and all that stuff. And I also like seeing the dance bags people have. So I thought I would do my own twist on this video. So I will do that for you. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up and also make sure you subscribe to my channel for more of me because I'll be posting school videos. My next video will be my first school video of the year. So stay tuned for that. And I will be posting all of those, so yeah. Let's hop into it. This is my dance bag. It's big. My dance bag is a duffel bag from Bear Bradley, and it is in the pattern Heather, I believe. So it just has just one big area and then a pocket on the side, and then two straps to go with it. So I love this bag. It's very roomy, as you can see. It's pretty big, and it was pretty reasonably priced. It was like, I think, $80. But I do really like this bag and I can't wait to start my next season with it because it is, it's my baby now and what I bring to dance so it's got everything I need in it. So let's get into it. I'm going to first start with this side pocket right here and this part is pretty deep, it goes down pretty far so the first thing I have in it is usually my phone. So I just carry my phone in it while I'm at dance, so either if my parents are late, I can be like, hey, where are you? Or if I'm waiting for a class, I can just be on my phone. I also like bringing some type of snack with me, so I just have this Planters Tropical Fruit Nut Trail Mix. There's not much left in it, but I just like bringing something just in case I get hungry. Usually I don't, but just in case, or if I'm going somewhere afterwards, it's nice to have one. You might find this weird, but I have a nail filer in there because sometimes my nails just get like really, I don't know what the word is, they just kind of get caught on my tights sometimes if I'm going to ballet or they'll get caught on my clothes and it's really, really annoying. So I bring a nail filer with me just to make sure that I can make sure my nails are not getting caught on everything because that annoys the crap out of me. So. I have this. Okay, so next I have a screwdriver, and if you're not a dancer, you're probably like, what the heck, why do you have a screwdriver? Well, I have tap shoes. The taps of tap shoes are put on by screws, so sometimes the screws get loose, so I just use this little screwdriver to kind of screw them back in to make sure that they're not getting loose and will fall off, so I just have this with me. All dance studios usually have one at the front desk, too. That's why I've got that. Next, I have this random hair tie because you never know when you're going to need a hair tie. And especially at dance, you have to keep it up out of your face. So I've got a hair tie. And that's everything in the side pocket. So now moving on to the center part of my bag. The first thing I have in here are my point shoes. And I'm actually going to admit that they are not even done yet. But they're in this mesh bag that's maroon. And I really like this color. But these are my point shoes. I actually just got them, so they aren't even put together or anything, but I'm going to be taking my first point class soon, and I started late in ballet, which is why I only just now got my point shoes, but I am very excited, so to get them, I absolutely love them. They're so gorgeous. These are Gainer Mindens, also, by the way, if you were wondering, so I have these, so I've got Gainer Minden point shoes in here. In this little bag, it also comes with like a little pocket to put different things in for the point shoes, so for my point shoes, I actually don't have toe pads with them because it actually has some padding inside, but I do have these things. Um, these are big toe pads and these are just going to also help my feet whenever I'm going up on point. And I also have these pinky pads or what they call them because in all of the point shoes I tried on, my pinkies were starting to hurt. So I just got these pinky pads and these are both like really comfy and cushiony, so I think this is going to help me make sure that I'm not in pain while I'm on my while I'm on point, but that is everything I have in my little point shoe bag, so whenever I take my first class, I will be able to sew my point shoes and everything, so I'm very excited for point. If you saw my dance supply haul, you would know that I was in pre-point, and so now I finally got the okay to go on to point, and I'm like, so excited. The next thing I have in here is a knee brace, because my knees somehow always end up hurting. I don't know how that works, but this is a knee brace, and I really like this one, because it's got like four Velcro things. It's got two small ones and two big ones. So you Velcro it together instead of sliding it on your leg so it stays in place a lot more. And I really like this. It's actually a really comfy knee pad. And it's definitely a lifesaver sometimes. So I recommend you get like some kind of knee pad to put in your bag. Oh look, I have another knee pad. Get some knee pads, guys. Next I have my Lyrical shoes. And these are just the Capazio Lyrical shoes. I don't think these are a certain 
type for um, turning and everything as usual as you usually would use like their own turning shoes for. So I've got a pair of these in my bag. Next I have my tap shoes. These are from Theoreticals. I don't know what type they are but I do know that they're from Theoreticals. And I am thinking about getting new um, tap shoes soon just because these don't like really, they don't, they're not flexible. And I really want flexible tap shoes so I can be able to go up on my toes without having to like strain really hard. Like because I can go on my toes on these. It's just a lot harder than if you just had ones that could just move like that so you could go on your toes easier. So I do have these though and they do work really well and I've had them for a little over a year now and I have liked them and I take taps quite a bit. So they're good shoes. If you have any suggestions for tap shoes with flexibility in them, I'd love to hear them. So you can just leave that down below in the description box to tell me your favorite brands and I will check them out. Next, I have another brace. I have an ankle brace now and these come in handy too. And I think I'll especially need them after point and everything. Next, I have just this black sports bra. I always try to keep um, a pair of clothes in here just in case I need them or in case a friend needs them, which isn't often, but I always just like to have one just in case, so here's just a sports bra that I got. Okay, so I don't know where my other jazz shoe is, but I have at least one jazz shoe in this bag, and these are just the Reticles Neoplex, I think. Um, I really like these jazz shoes, they're real, okay, <laughs> they're really worn out, no, I'm getting new ones soon, and I'm, I'm getting the same brand though, because I do really like these jazz shoes. They've lasted me for a long time, these things have been my lifesavers throughout competition season last year, and throughout just regular classes and everything, because they've stayed in pretty good shape but as you can see they're kind of <laughs> so next I have my ballet shoes in here and these are just the Block Pro Elastic I believe and oh my goodness I love these shoes these are actually really really comfy ballet shoes and they're canvas and I prefer canvas over leather and these are just kind of slip on ones and they don't have the stupid elastic in the front and I just really like these shoes they're really comfy I've done long ballet classes in these multiple a day and they just helped me out pretty well so I am a big fan of these shoes. So next I just have a pair of Nike Pros and these are kind of dirty but I might have to wash these. But these are just a pair of Nike Pros. Remember how I said I have a pair of shorts and a, pair, and a bra in there so these are just my shorts. Next I have just this little bag and it is just this kind of travel bag. In it I have a couple things that might I, I might need at dance. So the first one is some fragrance. This is just a pair of some more of my Bath and Body Works. I have like a mini fragrance in here. In case I'm going anywhere after dance, I don't want to be smelling like a hot mess, so I got a fragrance. I also have this really gross looking hairbrush. Oh my goodness, I am so sorry, but I have a hairbrush in here in case I have to put my hair up or brush it down or anything. Hand sanitizer because floors can just get incredibly dirty, so I recommend you have hand sanitizer or wash your hands after you are dancing just because your hands might feel gross. I have an elastic and this homemade sock bun. I actually made this in one of my very first videos on YouTube. So if you want to watch that, then click the eye. I think that's where the eye is. But um, I have this homemade sock bun, so just in case, you know. Another hair elastic. Eye drops, just in case my eyes get red or they just dry up because I do wear contacts. So I have eye drops, even though I never really use eye drops, I guess, just in case. And then I also have an EOS lip balm because sometimes your lips can get pretty dried up and all of that stuff. So I just keep one in my bag, just in case. I guess you could technically call this my just in case bag. So next I have deodorant. And lady, please, 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 please don't go to dance class without deodorant. It has happened before in my dance classes and oh my goodness, you do not want to be a victim to the smell. So next I have just these little lyrical shoes and these are just kind of like foot undies. And I've used these in lyrical too before and I really like these as well. They're really lightweight on your feet. I usually prefer shoes most of the time over these but they do the trick, they're fine, so they're just Capazio, and I have these in my bag. I found my other shoe! Hey, I've got two, got two jazz shoes now. Next, I have this giant jacket, and this jacket's actually really, really oversized. It says, who is A on the side, if you can see, and it's just from the Pretty Little Liars collection, and it's a really, really big jacket. It's actually an extra large, so it swallows me whole, but it's a really comfy jacket, and I also wear it in case I get like really really cold leaving the studio or something on my way home or from going somewhere I'm wearing like ballet clothes I have it so it's covering most of me because it's been it's kind of awkward walking into a, like a store or in public in just ballet clothes because it's like I don't know I find it kind of weird so I just like having something to cover up. Uh, next I have my low high bracelet I've actually been missing this for a while so now I know where it went my dance bag 
Welcome back to world. So, um, yeah. Next, I have this really, really bright headband, and I don't even know why I have this because I really don't see myself wearing this a headband this bright to dance. This is kind of overwhelming. But this is in my dance bag. Next, I have a TheraBand, and if you don't know what TheraBand's used for, pretty much you put your feet in them, and they you can like help the strength in your feet, you can help the point in your feet, and so this is really good to do if I'm waiting for a class or I'm bored or something, and I really like having a TheraBand so that I can do stuff with my feet and everything, and TheraBands are really helpful for dancers. I suggest you invest in one if you are serious about dance. So that is all my dance bag. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, and also comment down below if you like my new place and your favorite type of tap shoe that's got like the flexibility. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. I would really, really love it if you would subscribe to me if you're a dancer and you want to see dance videos. I have my Dancer Dictionary playlist, which I will leave in a link down below. So you can watch all of those videos. I also have other videos that are, aren't dance related. So anything that you'd like to see that works. If you want to see more dance videos, give this video a thumbs up and yeah. I will see you guys in my next video, which is going to be my first back to school video and I'm really excited for it. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.